Family, the Encyclopedia of Real Government, and I'm glad that the uh, county manager did not have to read that diatribe, anti-constitutional diatribe. Maybe it was a mistake, or maybe you decided to remove that anti-constitutional diatribe, warning the citizens against being able to talk the way they want to talk. At any rate, I won't go into that. Mr. Purdy was absolutely right on all of his suggestions there. He left one off. I think we ought to tax the 15th floor of the city council building down there. There's a lot of money running around up there. Caviar, champagne, uh, lavish furniture. So throw that in, that in on your tax operation. Oh, man. Oh, man. Why does Sam always have to come down here and try to save the community? If we had an honest media, if we had an honest newspaper, honest television station, honest radio station, we wouldn't be in these terrible pickles we're in all the time. Sam's down here cajoling you, begging you, threatening you, even singing songs to you to try to get you to do the right thing, and you can never, ever do it. Why is that? What is it? Why is Sam, this 160-pound senior citizen military veteran, why is everybody so scared to death and jealous of Sam? If people had been listening to Sam through all of these years, you wouldn't have this tax pickle even here with the inclined people. You wouldn't have all of it. Thank God. Thank God for YouTube. Thank God for YouTube. You get nothing out of the media here. No truth about Sam with the media. But we have YouTube. So you can go to YouTube and just put Sam Denae Reno and you'll find more truth there than you'll ever find in the Reno Gazette regurgitator in all your life. As I close out, I remind you once again, Sam is the hero. Sam is the good guy. Sam should be the media darling. And if you would recognize that and pull some strings and get the media to start listening to Sam, we would maybe get out of this horrible pickle. There are no others, Mr. Chair.